Hello everybody, it's Army Gideon time here once again for Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Now you might be asking yourself, why did you get hit by that creepy red guy? And why'd you get hit again? Well, I don't really know. But the other question you might be asking yourself, aside from that one, is why are you back in the nexus of the uh, heart hunt? And that is because we are about to acquire a very... Well, I guess it's a pseudo good item, but I figure I'd show it off anyways. So what you do is you go over here, and now that we have the hammer, hammer that down, and you fall into the mysterious pit of nothingness. After we turn it up a bit. Now you'll need the magic powder for this. Well, what is this mystery? Huh, we can't really do anything, eh? Well, let's throw a little magic powder onto that uh, creamy tomato soup and see what happens. <gasps> Oh my god, it's Bat! Hey, blast you for waking me from my deep, dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it! Uh, is that okay with you, sir? Jeez, this guy is so bipolar, it's crazy. Oh no! <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. See you. <laughs> oh, sad. Now, uh, whenever we use magic, it only uses half as much. So, uh, I don't know. I say bonus on us. So yeah, while we're here, well, we might as well go to the next dungeon where, if you saw, it's in, uh, it's in the, uh, Dark World version of the Lost Woods. So we should make our way there. But first, I see we're a little low on some hearts. So maybe we should farm for a couple. Yes. Where can we find some hearts in Kakariko Village? Not really too sure. I don't really spend a lot of time here. Like, on my own in here again. Wait, is this where the ducky is? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can... Oh, there's one. I can show you something here with the magic powder. <gasps> cluck, cluck. What? You turned me into a human. I can't even speak. Aha! It must be you who is always trashing my friends. Teasing my friends. The weathercock is always watching you harass them. Well, this human shape is uncomfortable for me. Ah, uh, I want to be a chicken again, cluck cluck. Really? You'd give up your sentience just to be a chicken? So you could become another delicious meal later on? Oh, jeez, I don't know, man. But yeah, talk about uh, farming hearts in the slowest way possible. No, no, gonna farm some hearts and then go to the next palace. Here we go at the door and then right back in. Because we need another heart for our things up in the right hand corner, but gotta do this two more times. Obviously, only two more times to do this. This is one more, just one left, and then misery mire that dungeon where we can go kick some major butt by that I mean all canyons minions <sighs> let's take you down to Chinatown oh you know what I could have done is I could have gone up here and I could have uh, I could have just hit this tree to get some apples apples actually replenish your hearts but what are you gonna do instead you got me singing that's just fine. Anyway, let's keep going. Boom. Bam. Collect. Oh, yes, because I used the magic powder. I was like, why did I use magic? Oh, me and my forgetfulness. Anyway, off to the terrible depths of this next dungeon. Why, you little miscreant. Here we go. Now, what I would have usually done in the past is, uh, like, on my own time, I would go... Oh, let's just get around there. I would actually go to the dungeon after this and sequence break to get myself a better sword. But in the interests of fairness, I'm going to take on this dungeon now. 
Oh, such creepy music. And look, there's the treasure already. We have absolutely no keys though. So let's, oh, let's destroy some stuff. Like this weird yellow slippery thing. Not really sure what you call it, but yeah, I gotta get back my item of choice, this bad boy. Now we gotta get over there to get ourselves Hey, a map. That's actually somewhat useful. Just in case I happen to, you know, become a little absent-minded and forget where I'm going. Now, over here is actually the way to the, um, to the big treasure. But since I don't have the big key, can't really get it, can I? Ah, oh, curse you little bubbles or whatever they call them in this. Maybe these are the anti-fairies, I don't know. Actually, no, those would be the bubbles. Because the anti-fairies actually turn into fairies. And big explosion! I love it. Yeah, we actually go down that path that you see before us, and it leads to the treasure. But if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, no big key. Oh, no big deal, because we'll just have to go find it. Somehow, I guess. Now, as you can see, we've already cleared out this area. There's really nowhere else for us to go. We don't even have a key to get in there. My, oh my, what do we do? Well, what we do is fall down a hole to our demise. And by demise, I mean, oh, the trap room. Now, I don't like mummies because they just keep coming after you regardless what you do. They do eventually die, but not until you've already pretty much exhausted the B button. Yeah, this is pretty much a useless room. As in, you don't want to be here. Haha, <laughs> that was awesome. Stupid mummies. Yeah, they may be very resilient, but they are not the most intelligent of all creatures. Oh, and I got trapped, but not before I got the key. <laughs> Just means that all the freaking mummies are back. And nobody likes that, so we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> yeah, see, we've already been to this area, so let's just get out of here again, man. Nobody needs any of this. Aha! <sighs> so let's look elsewhere. Let's go down to that hole that I deeped around before. Let's see what lies beneath. Ah! Delving deeper into the dungeon! No, 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 no. Fell down like an idiot. Now here we gotta be quick as a whip. Yeah, we gotta get all the way over there. Just for a silly little heart. Can you believe that? Ugh. I meant to hit the B button and I hit the A button. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Useless. Because I have 999 rupees. Now watch what happens when I get this item. Oh my god, it just made the dungeon harder. You found the compass, now I know where the boss is. Hooray! I'm sure I'll figure out where the boss is just by getting there. But I'm looking for the big key. And I would really like it. Because, ugh. I want to see what the new item of this castle is, even though I already know what it is. And we got a key, which might do helpful in that next area. Stupid handy grabo. Grabo hand. Nothing like the grabo arm. Ah! Take you. Just beat on this guy, senseless. Oh my god. There we go. I don't know why I really needed to even kill him. I thought I needed to kill all to get there but look we're back to this freaking room this is like the nexus of this castle or something so that means we need to find somewhere else to go like how about in here oh it's right back to this area like i said freaking nexus i don't know why i keep using that word i guess i just really like it or maybe because i really want to watch star trek generations i don't know 
I don't know, does that movie get heat? I don't really know. I, I like it. I personally do really like it. But, uh, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Saw the uh, new Star Trek uh, shortly before Christmas time when I was hanging out with my parents. And I liked it. No, scratch that. I loved it. It's fantastic. And I hadn't actually seen a lot of the uh, original series. Maybe actually only one or two episodes in my lifetime. Aside from just happening to see it on television. And then just disregarding it as, oh, it's that nerd show. But then, you know, uh, one of my roommates from uh, high school told me... Or, I didn't know this, but he actually himself watched uh, Star Trek The Next Generation and then so I started watching it with them you know for laughs I guess but I saw this episode the first episode I ever saw was um, oh what is it uh, Frame of Mind with uh, where Riker goes all or he thinks he's going all crazy and whatnot. but it's actually really good and it was because of that episode I really got into it ow Bonus time! Big key! Anyway, yeah, enough about Star Trek. I mean, I'm, I wonder how many people watching this actually like Star Trek. Maybe uh, one or two, or three, or maybe all of you, or maybe none of you. But here I am droning on about blah 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 Star Trek. Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek. No, we're here for something serial, like Zelda. <laughs> Excuse me. I just had a bit of a chuckle. How do I get over there? I don't know. Can't be that important. Oh my god, where am I? Wait, where am I going here? Gah! Run away! It's scary and I don't know what it is. Look at all these crazy bones. See what's over yah? Oh, more holes leading to the depths of this underground dungeon. Huh. Very interesting area. And again, here I am changing the outline of how things are. Hmm. Ah, that's what it does. Huh. It leads me to a room of nothingness. Wait, do I need fairies? Yes, I do. Haha. -ha. Keep it in a bottle forever. Haha. -ha. Let's get the F out of here. Um, yeah, I think I actually want to go right. <laughs> I love when that happens. It makes me, it puts a smile on my face. Okay, now that we have the big key, let's go get our big prize. Whatever could it be? Hmm. Oh, there you go. Now let's go down here. Make a nice shortcut. Make it not too difficult on ourselves. Boom! Love doing that right in your face. Oh, oh, see? Can't go through there, can we? Well, crap. Well, now we can. <laughs> After a little um, side order of business, let's take out these... Small forms of mold arms and a stick! No! The fire rod! This rod commands the red fire! But watch your magic meter! So, yes, we have the fire rod and the ice rod. Those will come in very handy much later in the game. Pretty much at the same time, if you can believe that. So, great, we have the item of this palace. Now, remember that big scary monster that I saw earlier? We have to go back there, I know. We have to brave the, uh, force, the evil forces of nature and... Ow! Get electrocuted! We have to actually take out that guy, though. But however do we do it? I don't know. Well, it's the fire rod. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much written it out in stone for you guys. Yeah, you notice how it had, like, a creepy, I don't know, insect-like tongue thing shooting out of it? You gotta use the fire rod on that, and I'll show you what I mean when I get there. Just gotta take a bit of a detour, though. Come out this way. 